ओके हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर पंडित शिंदे डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग साइंसेस ए आई सी एम एस आई आई टी इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज पुणे लेटेस्ट टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक नॉन एक्सैक्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर एंड फर्स्ट डिग्री एंड इट्स सोल्यूशन यूजिंग इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर मीन्स वॉट हियर वॉट एपन the given differential equation first we check it is exact or non exact if it is non exact so we find out the integrating factor and multiply that non exact differential equation by integrating factor it will become exact and then we find out the solution so let us move towards our topic directly so this is this topic is equation reduced to exact form by using the integrating factor that is nothing but the reduce non exact differential equation to exact form by using integrating factor now important thing what is integrating factor integrating factor is nothing but the one function of two variables suppose like as x y is called as integrating factor if if you multiply by that function or if you multiply the non exact differential equation by that integrating factor that is the function k x y the equation become exact that is non exact differential equation become exact after multiplying so same definition is given in the wording but uh, our target is concept is important thing is integrating factor is nothing but the some function kxy clear if you multiply non exact differential equation by that uh, integrating factor it is function kxy the non exact differential equation become exact it is a concept keep in mind only so reduce to exact form by using integrating factor is nothing but the find the integrating uh, find the integrating factor and uh, multiply that non exact differential equation by this integrating factor it will become a exact differential equation so concept is how to find the integrating factor so total five rules to find the integrating factor according to the type of the differential equation means in previous videos we know uh, homogeneous differential equation non homogeneous differential equation लाइक दिस और एक्सैक्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन आगे आने वाला है लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन लाइक दिस सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस फर्स्ट रूल से इज दैट ए टू फाइंडिंग द इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर इंपोर्टेंट अगेन when you find the integrating factor if given differential equation is non exact when the given differential equation is non exact a the differential equation mdx plus ndy is non exact a daba m by daba y is not equal to daba n by daba x if this condition is there it is not equal then it is non exact keep in mind if it is non exact then how to do is an exact for solving by using integrating factor and how to find the integrating factor like this if first the given differential equation is homogeneous what do you mean by homogeneous differential equation all of you know the differential equation is said to be homogeneous if the sum of indices in h Term sum of indices of variables in each term is equal, then it is called as homogeneous differential equation. And this one more condition is here: x into m plus y into n is not equal to zero. Then the integrating factor is one upon x into m plus y into n. So it is first clear that the given differential equation homogeneous होना चाहिए. तभी हम उसे एक्सैक्ट नॉन एक्सैक्ट होगा तो उसे एक्सैक्ट रिड्यूस करके सॉल्व कर सकते हैं कीप इन माइंड ओनली दिस थिंग सो लेट अस मूव टुवर्ड्स द क्वेश्चन व्हिच टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन पीपल से दिस इज द इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर हाउ टू फाइंड आउट इट सो वी डू क्वेश्चन सॉल्व द फॉलोइंग डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो दिस इज द गिवन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन 1 आई एम कॉलिंग दिस एज इक्वेशन 1 एंड लुक एट हियर द सम ऑफ इंडाइसेस 2 1 3 1 2 3 3 2 1 3 सो Sum of indices of variables in each term is three, 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 three. So this differential equation is homogeneous differential equation. ये क्या हुआ हमारा? It is homogeneous differential equation. Clear. But we solve. It is using exact, non-exact. So we move towards the exact and non-exact differential equation. So I'm just compare this with. M D X plus N D Y. Why? Because you need to for check it. Non exact is exact. So therefore, what is your comparing? M is equal to what happened? M is the coefficient of D X is X square Y minus two X square. N is this minus sign inside. 
so this plus x become minus x cube and this is become plus 3x square y square so checking x and non x you find out da by m by da by y that is partial derivative of m with respect to y so this x square as it is derivative of y is 1 minus this 2x as the derivative of y square is 2y with respect to y so this x square minus 4xy this is the value of da by m by da by y similarly we find out da by n by da by x partial derivative of n with respect to x and all of you know how to find the partial derivative if you differentiate with respect to x partial so x is the only variable other all variables are constant so your minus derivative of x cube is 3x square plus here is 3y that is derivative of x square is 2x so this is minus 3x square plus 6xy and look at this two terms i count this here is a x square here is a minus 3x square here is a minus 4xy here is a plus 6xy so i count in this here da by m by da by y is not equal to da by n by da by x that implies the given difference in equation 1 is a non exact differential equation because it not satisfy this condition so our target is to reduce in exact form by using integrating factor so first to find the integrating factor to find the integrating factor now why rule one because rule one says that if differential equation is homogeneous so we try to use rule one but second condition you also uh, second condition also satisfy only chahiye so therefore by rule 1 why rule 1 because differential equation 1 is homogeneous so rule 1 says that x into m plus y into n we want to find out first it so x what is m m is it is x square y minus 2xy square plus y into n is minus x cube plus 3x square y we simplify it x square means x cube y minus 2x square y square plus on this minus become minus so minus x cube y plus 3x square y square this minus and plus gets cancel this minus 2x square y plus 3x square y square so it become only x square y square and we know which is not equal to 0 so by rule 1 integrating factor is i dot f dot h that is integrating factor i am written in short form 1 upon m into x plus n into y so which is equal to 1 upon x square plus y square and as per i was said multiply non exact differential equation by this integrating factor it will become exact so check it multiply equation 1 by integrating factor is equal to 1 upon x square y square so therefore 1 upon x square y square it is x square y minus 2xy square dx minus x cube plus 3x square y it is also minus not a plus square y dy is equal to zero. Clear. This is equation one. Usse ham multiply kar rahe. X square y square integrating factors se one upon. So therefore, when multiplying x square is cancel inside multiply, multiply inside. So this become one upon y only minus this two as it is. One x gets cancel. So x as it is y square gets cancel. So this is dx minus this x cube. So one x remaining and this y square as it is. Minus this three, and this x square x square cancels, so it is three by y dy is equal to. So I'm calling this as equation two, and directly says that is exact differential equation. But here we check it exact or not. I'm just compare this with m dash dx plus n dash dy equal to zero. I'm taking m dash n dash because already I'm here and then using here above. Use here. So therefore, I'm taking m dash and n dash. So m dash is one by y minus two by x, and n dash is it is x by y square minus. This become plus because this minus multiply inside. So therefore, here we check da by m dash by da by y. What happen? Derivative of one by y is minus one by y square and two by x ka zero. 
n dash derivative of n dash with respect to x partially daba n dash by daba x so it is minus 1 by y square constant derivative of x is 1 and 3 by y constant so it is zero so look at this two here minus 1 by y square minus 1 by y square so daba m dash by daba y equal to daba n dash by daba x so that implies equation 2 is exact because it satisfies the condition of exact differential equation so using this if it is exact then simplify it so to find the solution so equation 2 is exact so equation 2 ka solution nikalna hai how to simplify we know the formula m dash dx y constant once it will become a exact plus n the term free from x dy equal to some constant we taking what is m y constant m is sorry m means n dash m dash and n dash m dash is 1 by y minus 2 by x dx plus the term free from x in n dash so this term contains x so nahi aane wali so it is 3 by y only dy equal to some constant c so we want to write this integral here we say the 1 by y dx but 1 by y constant integration of 1 dx is x minus is 2 as it is integration of dx by x is log x plus this thread the uh, integration of dy by y is log y equal to c we simplify this again x by y and i don't like this log x square plus log y cube equal to c and also use the property of logarithm log a minus log b is log a by b so it is plus log y cube upon x square equal to c this is the final answer and this way we simplify the non exact differential equation by reduced in exact by using integrating factor and simplify it clear so thank you guys this way we simplify it so thank you so much